Hello everyone, Rhys Coker from Combat Academy and welcome to another one of our exciting video tutorials. Today we are going to be talking about the GIF wrap, an absolutely brilliant technique. Okay, the GIF wrap is an absolutely fabulous technique. What makes it so great is that so many of our techniques end up in that GIF wrap position. It is a first class restraint position that you end up in from here, when we did the uh, the bender from the headlock defense, you end up in that position from the anaconda. I'm gonna show you, everything ends up in the GIF wrap. It's your ideal restraint position. The GIF wrap is a fantastic restraint technique. Believe it or not, it might be important for us to keep our attackers safe. And this, this could be the case if I'm a security professional, a police officer, and I'm looking at restraining them without hurting them. Now, if I had him roll on his back and, and using my weight crushing down on his chest, that could stop his breathing. And there have been several cases of this happening uh, with people being restrained. Uh, the beauty of the gift wrap position is, number one, he's on his side. He's actually pretty much in the recovery position. If he was drunk or unwell or having trouble breathing, pressure here still allows his chest to rise and fall. If he's being sick or you know, vomiting, it can run out of his mouth. So it's a very, very safe position for the attacker. But it's also very, very safe for you, the defender. You are completely out of harm's way. I'm on the dead side of the attacker. My knees are against his back, which stop him from rolling back towards me. And that happens very, very naturally without any strength or force from me. Number two, my weight is going to be centrally down on the attacker. Initially, my hand is going to be by their hips. This stops them from rotating their hips out. So if Magdi, if he tries to rotate his hips out, this is called boxing. And this is the initial entry position when I land uh, here before I do the gift wrap. Next thing I do is I come behind the head to bring the head forward. And that will allow me to scoop this arm. I'm holding onto the hand and I'm basically wrapping him in his own arm. My other hand comes round at the elbow on his elbow and then I'm drawing everything in and holding it tight. And it takes no strength at all to hold him in this position. Magdi, if you struggle, no pressure from me at all. A brilliant technique, it's called the gift wrap. It looks, looks quite passive, but if you see where my hands are, if I wanted to turn up the dial, my hands are very close to his face and in particular his eyes. I can also release temporarily and put in strikes if I'm in that position and I feel that it's necessary to do so. But as a restraint hold, it's usually good enough. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Uh, stay tuned and keep subscribed because next time it's gonna get exciting. Next time we're gonna put it all together in a realistic situation, no holds barred, to prove to you that this stuff really works and it works under pressure.